So spring is springing already here out in California, here at California Carnivores. And so I want to talk about um, flowers. These are actually American pitcher plant flowers. Um, American pitcher plants go dormant in the winter, as you probably know, and then they come up in the spring. So they send up their flowers before their traps come up. And that's because honeybees are gonna pollinate these flowers in the southeastern United States where they grow. And if these pitchers were on here catching all the bugs with uh, nectar, they might catch some of those honeybees and that wouldn't help anybody. So they send their flowers up first and they use, and they use the non-drugging nectar to lure in honeybees to pollinate. And then later in the year, there'll be traps with the drugging nectar to catch ugly bugs like yellow jackets and flies and things we don't like. So we have a lot of questions. Do they catch honeybees? Actually, they don't. Another really cool thing about them is American pitcher plants, you know, plants hate to be self-pollinated. It's actually the worst kind of incest. We can't do that, animals can't self-pollinate, but because plants often have male and female parts on the same flower, they actually can self-pollinate. So these American pitcher plants could pollinate themselves. And they don't want that because it'll create a higher um, likelihood of mutations and it'll create weaker progeny. Usually self-seedlings can take much longer to grow. And so we, we wanna have crossing between clones so that we can have the strongest progeny. And so these flowers have evolved over millions of years to make sure, or at least try to make sure, that they never ever get self-pollinated. And here's how. So when the honeybee comes, it has to find a way into this flower. The pollination happens inside. And so it can't push its way through in here. It can't get in through here. And so there is a little gap right in here that they can slide on in. And when they slide on in, they'll slide past the stigma or the female part of the flower, which is that little hook on the end of this umbrella. That's the female part of the flower. And when we slid in, we had somebody else's pollen on there. And so the honeybee puts a little pollen from somebody else on the stigma, and then it goes inside this flower. And now inside this flower is a little chamber. There's this umbelliform pistil that creates an upside down umbrella and it catches the pollen. The anthers are up there that make pollen and the pollen will fall down into this chamber. And then the honeybee will get covered in the pollen. And then when it comes time to leave, it would self pollinate this flower if it came out the way it went in. And so it has to find, the plant has to give it a better way out. And so they have these easy one way doors. This petal will just flap right out and the bee can go underneath the petal. It can't go in that way because it gets stuck on this stick on the pistol, but it can go out that way. And so this flower is actually luring the bees in through this way, feeding them a little nectar and then sending them on their way cleverly so they don't self pollinate. Aren't plants so cool?